You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. We have a comings and goings update that we really want to talk about. And we are wondering if Days is going to keep Victor Kyriakis alive forever. It's kind of bizarre, right? John Aniston passed away on November 11th of 2022, yet Victor Kyriakis is name dropped often as the soap is keeping him alive. But how long can they keep doing this? All right, we're going to dig in and talk about it. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives spoilers, casting news, and more. So right now, we have recently confirmed that Days of Our Lives is back to taping six months ahead because the the actress who plays uh, Megan Hathaway, Miranda Wilson, said her final air date, July 6th, was a show she taped December 23rd. So she taped through the end of the year, and then it's not airing until the end of June. So early July. That's a six-month gap, which is what they were at pre-pandemic, and it looks like they have built back up enough episodes to keep shooting at that pace, which helps them stay on budget and helps them stay on the streaming service rather than being canceled. So the bottom line is, with days filming six months ahead, even if John Aniston had filmed up until right before he died, they'd have already run out of his episodes because he passed away in November. That means any episodes they have from him would have aired by May, but we know that that's not true because his last air date after more than 2,760 episodes as Victor was December 27th, 2022. He was on Days of Our Lives from 1985 through 2022, 37 amazing years. So is Days of Our Lives going to leave Victor alive indefinitely, or are we going to get a respectful and fitting end to the legacy character and a grave for Maggie and his family to visit? I mean, wouldn't that be nice? It seems strange, right, to just hear them continually talking about Victor Kyriakis when we all know that John Aniston is dead and Victor is never coming back to the soap. We're not going to see him walking those boards again. Right now, his widow, Maggie Horton Kyriakis, is running Titan Industry. And Alex is over at Basic Black. Xander is at The Spectator. Brady is also at Basic Black. I mean... They could keep Victor alive for years to come with mentions and occasional name drops, you know, with Maggie talking to Alex, with Maggie talking to Chad and saying, oh, this is what Victor wants us to do at Titans since Chad has decided to take the job offer. But, you know, in a way, doesn't it feel a little like Days of Our Lives is kind of cheating fans in a way, just by not giving us this closure. And is this also painful for John Aniston's loved ones that the soap hasn't given the actor closure in a way? You know what I mean? If they're never going to recast Victor, I mean, let's be, let's be fair. They're never going to recast him, but leaving it open and just unresolved, that, that sounds a lot like like what Days of Our Lives would do, which is frustrating in a way. Jennifer Aniston had said several years ago that when her dad was ready to retire, she might do a little guest arc as part of his exit. And that never happened. It never manifested. In 2018, four years before his death, there was a story in the Globe tabloid that alleged that Jennifer Aniston was pleading with her dad, John Aniston, to retire. And the article cited somebody saying that he is, quote, working himself to the grave. This was 2018, several years before he died. They cited in that article his 2006 heart attack and said he looked, quote, haggard and feeble. A source cited in that article said that Jen and other family pleaded with him to leave Days of Our Lives, but he would not. That story came out two years after his ex-wife, Jen's mom, Nancy Dow, had died. So with him going on for four more years, that does not sound like he was working on Days of Our Lives to the grave. Because if you remember, it would be months at a time between John Aniston's visit because we would even 
question over at Soap Dirt, we would occasionally write an article, where is Victor? Where's John Aniston? When are we going to see him again when we were missing him a lot? And, you know, so he, he wasn't working a ton, even before then. But now, with him gone, it just seems so bizarre. And I will say Days of Our Lives is the most bizarre soap of the four that are left on the air. They got no problem with zombies running around town, resurrections, secret twins. We've got, you know, doppelgangers, people coming out of the... It's crazy. So could Days of Our Lives leave him alive indefinitely? Yeah, they really really could. We got one more point to talk about though in one second. If you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives updates and spoilers. And if you enjoyed this chat, click like so that we know that you enjoyed this video. So right now with Days of Our Lives, there's simply no signs that they are going to write out the character of Victor Kyriakis. And the bottom line also is they can leave him alive as long as they want to, but it's strange. And we're wondering, please let us know in the comments what you think. Is this respectful to John Aniston's legacy to leave his character alive or is it disrespectful? What do you think? Do you want the closure of them having Victor Kyriakis pass away so that the characters mourn as we who are fans of John Aniston have mourned or do you appreciate just thinking about the idea that Victor Kyriakis is still alive? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.